Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the dependency injection, injection context outside of the context. So if you want to inject any services or anything outside of the context, how we can inject the service? Let's try to see. As I already told you, the injection context, injection context or the injection thing which it will be working is the, it will be working in the constructor or otherwise you can use it as a property field here directly using the inject keyword or otherwise you can use it in the factory factory provider like logger factory you will be able to see here you can use the inject or otherwise you can use it in the injection token so when you are creating the injection token you can create a factory here as an option and you can inject the services and the last one but not the least is in the activate routing cards so in this all the places the runtime context will be available so that you can inject the dependency or you can manage the dependency injection services in the angular so the different ways you can use it and you can manage the injecting of the services so this is one thing and another thing which i want to tell you is for example let's say that in any code for example let's say that uh, in this is our widget component right and let me go to the widget.component.html I will be present in the widget.component.html. Okay, so here uh, let's say that I am having one button. Okay, and here I will be having click here or something like this. And upon clicking on this one, so what I will try to do it is so here upon clicking on this one, so get data or anything, whatever the method. So we will be having one method. Let's go to the widget component.ts file, and here I will be using get data. Okay, I will do the console.log of get data five so just i'm using it so now if you try to see the output for this one so if i click on here i will be able to see get data five so that means the method is getting five now what i want to do it is for example let's say that here in this scenario or anything i want to run i want to inject a service and i want to run the uh, what i want to tell you is i want to uh, i want to run I want to inject, I want to manage the dependencies here. So that means I want to use something. I want to use something like if you try to see here, uh, we are having console.logger service, right? So here you can use something like uh, console logger service. Okay. I want to use the console logger, console logger service dot say that new, I, I will be creating a new console.logger service dot log method here console logger service dot log method and here i can use it something like this now you here if you try to see get data and if i click on this get data so here i'm able to get a console logger service so fine so this one is a simple service file okay so which we can if a simple class file i am creating the instance for this one and i am able to inject it for example, let's say that this is having some constructor and which is able and it is having constructor and it is dependent on some data. Okay, some other service and that service is dependent on the service like this means I need to provide all the dependency services here. But instead of that one, so we know that in our Angular we have a method in such a way that so you can have console logger is equal to so we can use the inject. Okay, I can use this inject of console logger service and here I can use console logger service dot log method okay and here i can use some data so now this is one thing where we can use the inject thing and i can directly use this inject wherever i want it and now this will inject the console dot logger instances into this console logger uh, property and this variable i can use it wherever i want it now if i try to see the output so now with, without any problem we are able we are not getting any errors so everything is fine but when i try to click on this button if you try to see here now we are getting an error that is telling that inject must be called from an injection context such as constructor, factory function, a field initializer or a function used with run injection in run in injection context. So that means so we need to use this inject method which we have learned it in our earlier videos like this inject method should be called in a constructor yes a factory function which we have seen it and also a field initializer so that is nothing but whenever we are trying to initialize a property so there or a function used with run in injection context so that means so you need to explicitly run in injection context method so that there you can inject the services wherever you want it so here if i try to click on this button so now the inject will not work so that means the service will not be injected outside of the 
runtime context so outside of this injection context the injection the inject method in the will not work so how can i make this one work so for this reason what i need to do is so here we need to use the run in injection context so this takes two parameters so one one, one is the one argument is the injector and the another one is a callback function in this callback function you can able to inject whatever you want so here this injector so here you can create a method constant injector sorry constant constant injector injector is equal to inject we need to inject of injector and this should be imported from the injector angular core so this should be injector should be imported from the angular core so here somewhere injector will be imported from the angular core now this injector automatically what i can is this injector i need to pass it here so here i need to use the this dot injector okay and you will be you will be having a callback method so in this callback method and this entire should be moved into this callback method that's it so now we are exclusively creating an injection context and in this in this injection context in the callback function we are executing the logic whatever you wanted now if you try to see the output for this one now let me remove this one and if i click here now you will be able to see the console logger service has been injected successfully and we are able to execute the method okay so this is about the run in injection context so that means whenever you want to execute this inject injection outside the dependency injection means then we need to use this run in injection context so now you we also have an another method so this is all about the run in injection context hope you understood about this concept so the last one which i want to tell you about in this injection context is we also have an another method for checking whether the injection context exists in the method or not we exist in this or not if you want to check it means so we have a method in such a way that so you will be able to see assert okay assert in injection context so this is a method which will tell you that whether injection context is available or not if the injection context is not available means what it will try to it will throw you an error for example let's say here this is the method and i will use a callback function just i will tell you what is this callback function also so now here you will be able to see now if i try to execute this one so it will work fine and now if you try to click here you will be able to see an example that that this assert in injection context will work only in the running in injection context so that means this method will give you in such a way that it will tell you that whether a runtime injection context is available or not if i try to if i try to make it available in this one injection context now if i try to click here so everything will be working fine so you will not able to get any error and if i try to pro, if i try to mention this one here in this one only now if i try to check this one so here you will be able to see the output so everything is working fine and this doesn't throw any error if you try to use it outside then only you will throw an it will get an error so that means it is telling that injection context is not available so that you can able to understand so this one will be we can use it in you say we can use it in a debug mode or something like that we will not use it in the production mode just i am telling you that whether an injection context is available or not if you want to check it means you can use this assert in injection context this one is exclusively available in the angular 18 that has been provided and now what is this callback function is this callback function for example let's say that if i try to provide it here so now sometimes when i click on this one so here we are we, we know that this button is the problem where we are able to get this problem error we can able to identify it very easily but if you are having a lots of code and you are getting this type of this type of error means we cannot able to identify where this error is throwing what is this injection context and from where this injection context is rising the error we can able to we we cannot able to know it for this reason what we can do it is so here you can pass the function reference debug function so here when which function we are trying to check it get data so here you can pass this this dot get data okay so now if you try to pass this one as a reference so now here when i try to click on this one so here it will try to tell you that get data here you will be able to see that get data method can only be used so that we can able to understand it okay this is the get data method means which is used in the component we can able to identify it very easily if you don't provide anything if i provide a just a callback function let's say what is the error you will be able to get it so here it doesn't know anything right it will provide an error and you will be able to see only the braces is available here so like this you will be able to not able to get anything so the brackets is only available that it doesn't know about the it's a callback function it doesn't know about the function from which this error is raising so that is the reason so this is the debugger function or the reference of the function which you are trying to raise it so here you can provide this dot get data so that means from this function we are getting an error if this raises an error it will give you that which function is getting an error 
So this is all about the SRT injection context and also in runtime running injection context. So these are all different types of injection context that are available. If you want to learn more about these details and all those things, so in angular.dev you will be able to get it. So I will provide, I will give you, I will show you where you can able to get it in the docs. If you go here, so you'll be having in the dependency injection here, you'll be able to see the injection context. So these are the different places where injection context is available, the class constructor. And I have shown you this activated thing also and injection context. So this is the injection context, which is available here. So they are using the environment injector. I will try to explain you these all things in our next hierarchical injectors and this asset in injection context. So this is a helper function to know that the current context is an injection context or not. So if you are trying to use it outside the dependency injection means it will throw you an error. So that error also we have seen it. So this is all about the injection context scenarios. So hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.